Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to take four chords, four simple chords, A major, F major, D major, second time, A, F, and D minor. Now, four chords, but five levels. We're gonna try to take these chords, these simple ideas, and make something much, much more interesting. You ready? Let's do it. Level one. We're gonna play a tenth from the sixth string to just articulate the chords. Now, a tenth is basically one and three with an octave displacement. If you're not sure about it, you can check this link, but it's really simple. This is the shape, that's it. Then we're just gonna move it on the sixth string. So if you know the names of the notes on the sixth string, which you should, you got it. So A, F, D major, first four bars, and then A, F to D minor. Now the reason I wanna play this progression is because it's super fun to solo over it. You can shred on A minor pentatonic, A blues, and of course you can also articulate the chords more specifically, but anything, with that framework is gonna work and that's gonna be super freaking fun. I'm just gonna play it level one, here we go. So level one is cool, but would be cool learn to add some more stuff. So let's go to level two. Level two. What I'm gonna add here is a little line here and there just to fill in between the phrases. So check this out. Three, four. Start the same. Three, four. So all I did basically between the first eight bars or the second eight bars, basically between the loops I added. So what's happening here is I'm really playing a pentatonic A blues scale. So bar five, first finger kind of barring those two notes, E and A, and then I'm kind of doing a hammer on. Two fret number seven there, and then a little slide. Four to the three, that's so beautiful. That so and that's just to fill in that time between the two phrases. So check it out one more time. Three, four, two, uh, What happens if we put a little tremolo? Three, four. Such a vibe. Level three, I'm gonna add yet another line in between the phrases, check it out. Three, four. So, yeah, I also added a tremolo. But the thing is that we have this space in the line, in the phrase itself, when we hit the bar three and four, right, that D major, we have the time to play some stuff on it. And this is, you know, it doesn't have to be any specific line, but anything around that A, that A blues is gonna feel really nice on that. All I did was just bending the two, that note uh, B, just to get that flat three. That sound, again, it doesn't have to be that, but it could be that too, and then, uh, uh. Level four. Instead of playing a 10th, I'm gonna play a major seven. 
just check it out. Listen, so beautiful. Again, this is maybe a common voicing, one would say, but it sounds so good. I don't care. So I'm gonna start here. Aha, aha, aha. So I did two things, right? So I played the A major seven, but I also did like kind of hammer on here. And then I played the six string, so the major seven, but also barring that. So check it out. So instead of just D minor, I'm playing D minor 6. So this is just like a very fun voicing that I just love. And if you want, you can also add the open string. Then you get D minor 6, 9. Check it out. when I play the D major 7 here, I play a little line. So I grab the other line we played before on level 3, just that filler to D, because I was like, ah, I have some time, we know the line already, why not using it here? Literally the same thing, so 3, 4. Okay, so this is level four. What's gonna happen on level five? So before we dive into level five and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing, I wanna just understand what we're actually playing here. So we're in a key of A major. This is our center. And then from A, we're going to F, which is a little strange because F is not in the key of A, but it's okay we can play chromatic chords. This chord, the F, is basically the flat six. Why? Because I can. The flat six is a borrowed chord from the relative minor. The same way we're gonna utilize this D minor, right? We're going to go to the four minor later on. So that's also a borrowed chord. So I'm kind of playing this game here with this little progression between major, and minor. This is a major chord, but there's no flat six in the key of A major. But there is a flat six, there is F major in the key of A minor. So I'm kind of playing this game of are we in A major or are we in A minor? That's also one of the reasons playing the A minor blues pentatonic on that progression is gonna sound great. Again, you can play a few things on that, but that one is gonna sound really fun. So basically we have one flat six to the four, and then again, one flat six to the four minor. All right, level five, here we go. Level five, here I'm gonna add two elements. I'm gonna add a little bass dialogue, nothing crazy, but just a little kind of discussion between the chords and the rhythms and the bass. And then the other thing I'm also gonna use an inversion. So when we're playing D major seven, I'm gonna play this beautiful voicing. Woo. Yes, I would. This is D major 7 first inversion, and I think it's one of the most beautiful sounds in the world. Alright, so check it out. Three, four. adding two elements, the D major 7 first inversion, that's the same thing, and then I'm adding that bass line, and then jumping back. So what's happening in the bass line, it's just, again, some time to fill the gaps and kind of locking in the time, and what I would do is kind of like play this in a loop until I feel really good with it. This is just now kind of me figuring it out and I feel like if I spend half an hour just like
song. So the two elements that we added was the D major 7 first inversion here and then the bass line which basically I'm playing from A It's kind of a D major pentatonic, it's like 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 1 Slow back to the chords, same thing, right, and then that line, and here I'm just playing the G and, and D, kind of hammer on to the E and A, basically frets, um, I don't know, this is 15 to 17, that's kind of a simple line, just to lock it in and then looping that. Check it out, really slow. Let's play together. Three, four. Inversion, line. D minor, six. I feel is super helpful and important is knowing the fingerings and understanding what we're doing hearing it harmonically so really telling yourself oh this is the one this is the flat six this is the four this is the one the flat six major seven which is kind of cool and then the four minor six and then you know we have these like little lines that we feel and of course these lines are substitutional like you can play any other line there that would sound good as long as we lock it in time and the real way to make it happen is by looping it just play with the groove play the metronome play it for an hour all right after you looped it for an hour and it feels freaking great now let's solo over it three four <laughs> 